Today is Saturday, December 13th, 14th, December 14th. Uh, I'm out at the funnel spot, and uh, this is my first time getting out at all since the shotgun season. So, hoping to see something, and uh, yeah, it's a overcast afternoon, and probably about 35 degrees right now, so not horrible. We're about average. I don't have the best wind, but you know, it should it should do for the tree I'm in, so only got a couple hours maybe left uh, of light, so hopefully we'll see something. Alright, well that's pretty much gonna do it. I saw two bucks and a doe, none of which I could get the camera on in time. came out probably a little over a hundred yards away. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna come back in and set up right uh, right by where they came out. Set up there tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully we'll get a shot at one. Alright, hello everybody. Today is Monday, December 23rd. I am headed back over to my funnel spot to try and tag out on one of those two bucks that I've uh, had on camera coming out almost every day of the season except for during the rut. They were completely non-existent but that's okay. During that time I had a couple much bigger bucks to go after which as you've probably hopefully already seen uh, did not pan out very well. Uh, so it is probably three o'clock or, or it is it's three o'clock right now and uh, so I'm gonna have maybe a couple hours at most if I'm lucky uh, I'm only about a minute away so I should be up in the tree pretty quickly after getting there uh, if anything pops out we'll uh, show it to you coming up all right well I'm all set up and ready to go uh, I gotta say the first time using the saddle and the lineman, linesman, lineman's belt getting up the tree was definitely a learning curve. Um, I'm sure glad I didn't have to try this at night first. So, but yeah. Anyways, we're all set up, and uh, hopefully we'll see some deer. I will let you know if we do.
All right, well, I'm back at home now. Um, the evening was pretty uneventful all the way up until about 40 minutes before light. Uh, as you just saw, I did have a buck come in. Um, unfortunately, like right after I cut off the camera, the buck actually laid down right there at 40 yards away from me and stayed there until dark. Um, that's one of the two bucks that I've been getting on camera all summer and all fall long. And so he's definitely one that I would have taken a good look at. Um, I did look at the footage and quite frankly, he's probably a little younger than I'd like. Um, he is a nice deer though. Very nice deer. Has a lot of potential, I think. Um, but never did end up getting a shot at him. I probably would have taken the shot at him just because as you saw in the video, um, he's not really using his front leg. I know the deer are really tough and they can come back, um, but, you know, we've got a lot of coyotes in the, in the area, so it's, it's kind of iffy, um, you know, I probably would have taken him with how late, a, late it is in the season and knowing that he's got a pretty good injury, um, but nevertheless, um, so he was there all the way until dark. Um, and right as, you know, the last probably 30 seconds or so of shooting light, it was, it was too dark for the camera already. I tried to get in some footage, but, uh, it was too dark for the camera. So, uh, right at last light there, I had three more bucks come in behind me. One of them was an absolute monster. Of the three, two of them were shooters, definitely. Um, but one was an absolute monster. Uh, he stayed the farthest away from me. But uh, I got stuck in the tree until well after dark with those three sitting there. And eventually they worked downwind of me and smelled me and blew and took off back in the direction they came. So it was an unfortunate end, but um, event eventful end nonetheless. So they were actually sparring back behind me. That's how I noticed them. So um, all in all, great evening. Um, it was good to get out there and test the saddle out for the first time today, uh, the tethered mantis. And uh, I'll be heading down tomorrow for our annual New Year's Eve trip down to the family farm. So should be good. I got uh, one more good week, or I got one day, maybe a day and a half of hunting down there for the New Year's. And then there are three more weekends left in the season. So... I have one tag currently. Um, if I do end up filling it this weekend, it's an either sex tag. If I do end up filling it this weekend, I will go out and probably buy another either sex tag so I can get back out again for the last three weekends. But hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a good one down when we're down south, or at least see some good deer. Um, be able to take advantage of the new the new saddle and and. Uh, should be a good time. We'll see you there. Alright, it's the afternoon of Tuesday, December 31st. And I'm down at the family farm. It is uh, about maybe 40, 45 degrees outside. Probably right around normal for them. And then, uh, had an eventful hunt this morning. Saw six or seven deer, five turkeys, and a bobcat. Bobcat was actually about two yards away from me on my way walking in, so that was that was really cool. I had a great morning, but uh, I completely forgot my camera, so I don't have any footage of it. But hopefully this afternoon we see just as many deer. All right, well hello. Today is January 19th. It is the final day of the Illinois archery season for the 19 and 20 season. It is uh, the afternoon. It's a balmy 11 degrees outside. And uh, I'm sitting over at the funnel spot giving it one more shot. Um, on my walk in, I actually saw four bucks. Uh, one of them was a definite, definite shooter. And uh, another potential shooter. And then the other two were a little bit younger, so hopefully they come back through. I uh, I didn't spook them too bad. They never even put up their tails. They just kind of 
they hung out for maybe like five, ten minutes before, you know, slowly walking off away from me. I think they just heard me. I don't think they ever actually saw me, so hopefully they didn't know what it was and they're going to come back through. We'll see. It's the last shot for the year, so hoping, uh, hoping for some luck. Alright guys, so that's it. That's the way my season ended. Uh, those bucks never did come back through. Um, as you can see, I did have that one deer that came through, but uh, either the shot was not going to be on camera, or and it would have been a fawn. I'm pretty sure it was a button buck fawn, so not something I wanted to shoot even on the last day. Um, happy to eat a tag and let that deer grow up. So. Uh, but that's it. My whole season ended with a pretty disappointing, I would say, one doe for the year. Uh, happy to put some meat in the freezer, but would certainly have liked to have gotten something else as well. But it's all right. I saw a lot of bucks, saw a lot of deer in general, and had uh, I had my fair share of opportunities, and I just blew them, or it just didn't work out. So uh, hoping for a better season next season, and I got a lot more stuff coming up. Please stay tuned. Thanks for watching.